Neil Wedgbury was a Longbridge for over 30 years, where he was a manager with special responsibility for paint and corrosion. With her own mini as a feature at the 2018 Austin Apprentices reunion, I asked him to give us his insights into just why the original Mini always suffered from rust right up to the end of production in October 2000. Looking at the Mini, I can remember specific problems. Um, the finishers here. You had uh, steel clips with barbs on them and they were pushed onto the uh, flanges from either the minor side or the side panels and the front wing, etc. And then the finishers were hammered on and it had got barbs on, on the outside of the clips as well. And I can actually feel where the clips have distorted the finisher. It was like almost saying, that's how we're going to make the car go rusty, we'll use those clips. And I remember in the latter stages of production, there was a number of exercises done to fit plastic finishers, uh, glue them on, um, use a different type of clip. But uh, as far as I can remember, we never actually adopted any of those solutions. The other thing that I can see standing out here is the joints where you've got a plastisol, which is a, a plastic filler we used in the paint shops, uh, filling in and making it look cosmetically acceptable as a joint. Well, all that used to happen is the scuttle would uh, move relative to the front wing and you'd get cracks created in the sealant and the rust would creep in. And the same on the joints further down here. You don't see that type of joint any longer on the exterior of any vehicles that are built as far as I can see and remember. It was a feature in, in the 50s and uh, it was a bad feature and it's, of course it's carried through forever for the life of the Mini. So what is it that's different now that these that cars that are done they don't rust? Right, one of the major things that's different is that they're now using uh, zinc coated panels. So the um, steel, the mild steel that all the pressings are made from, goes through a, a treatment plant at the uh, steelworks and it's coated both sides with a very thin layer of zinc. And that really is the key to the way cars don't go rusty any longer. I mean, the proof of that is if you go in a scrapyard these days, you'll see car bodies that look as good as they were virtually when they were made. The engines are no good, the transmission's worn out, the brakes don't work, but the body is still there and it hasn't gone rusty. So that's the major change that's happened. And I say, in combination with the thing that you don't really use clips like that, you don't have joints like that, that's, that's improved the, 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 the um, longevity of life. And then you've got other combination effects of improvements in the way we treat the finished bare body. It goes through um, a very good cleaning process that further uh, coats the zinc panels with a, a phosphate, a zinc phosphate uh, coating. And in combination, those two, they make it a very good base to put the paint on. And then we've moved forward in what we call electrocoating. Um, electrocoating is much the same process as. Um, having, having a, a mild steel panel and you chromium plate it. You, you just couple it up across a battery if you like or, or a, a power source and you get a flow of resin and pigments onto the car body and it plates the whole of the car body. Even in, if it's got good access and good design it will even plate inside box sections. And again that helps to keep the corrosion at bay. And, and then you've got better quality paints are in use. Um, a lot of the water-based um, base coats, they're a much better paint 
and certainly the use of, of, of uh, 2K reactive paints on the, very, on the lacquer side. That has improved enormously the resistance to chipping and corrosion that you get from the chips. So there's been a lot of advances and most paint companies, sorry, most car manufacturing companies have moved forward at the same pace. Um, one might be slightly ahead one year and then it, they put a new paint shop in and you know it, it, it sort of went like that. I mean we, we put in a, a brand new paint shop at Longbridge which was state of the art uh, when it went in. Uh, I think it cost £27 million um, and it was a big paint shop and that improved the overall quality appearance, longevity of life in terms of corrosion and longevity of life in terms of appearance. It's all moved forward but the Mini was not good on corrosion but now cars the new Mini, for instance, is very good.